They are some of the most popular and flashy TV evangelists in the country. These men appear to have made a lot of money, and they travel, well, like kings. When our Lisa Guerrero tried to ask one of these wealthy preachers about that, some might say she was treated in a very non-Christian way. There ought not be any poor among you. They're among the most popular televangelists in America. I just need more. I just need more. And they're wealthy beyond imagination. One of my chandeliers costs more than most people's house. I got 22 chandeliers in the house. They live in huge mansions, drive fancy cars, and forget about flying coach. They own some of the best private jets money can buy. I got an intercontinental plane. Pastor Jesse DePlantis zips around in this DeSalt Falcon 50 jet paid for by his church. Here he is boarding the plane with his wife for a short one hour flight from Fort Worth, Texas to his home outside New Orleans. Estimated round trip cost $14,000. If he flew commercial, it would be as low as 180 bucks. My congregation is the world. I need to play. He says his jet allows him to better spread his message around the world. And it sure has taken him to some pretty nice places. 16 times to Hawaii alone since 2006. I really believe that if Jesus was physically on the earth today, he wouldn't be riding a donkey. DePlantis now wants an upgrade to this $54 million DeSalt 7X that comes with lavish interiors. Only the wealthiest people in the world can afford such luxury. So for you that don't think I should have that plane, God told me to have that plane. When he didn't respond to our request for an interview, I met him at a book signing. Why do you need a $54 million private jet? We're not doing any kind of interviews right now. I'm in a book. I just like to know why you need a private Keep your hands off me. Why are your people touching me like this? Because you need a Let go of me. The next day, back on the pulpit, he joked about how his security got rid of me. She gone. Boom. I can hear her hollering. <laughs> and I came back and said, what'd you do with her? He said, I made her outside edition. For $54 million, I want you to imagine how many people could be fed, how many homeless could have places to sleep. Ole Anthony and Pete Evans investigate televangelists for the Trinity Foundation, a watchdog group. They're extremely greedy. They don't need mansions. They don't need jets. <laughs> but when it comes to luxurious travel... Are you seeing this? I hope so. You bought it. <laughs> very few people can beat Kenneth Copeland. He even has his own airport next to his lovely mansion in Newark, Texas. Copeland actually has two private jets, a $20 million Citation 10 and a Gulfstream 5 jet that he recently bought from movie director Tyler Perry. He's flown his jets to his vacation ski resort in Steamboat Springs, Colorado, at least 143 times since 2000. So why not fly coach? Who better to explain his reasoning than to that other high-flying preacher, his good buddy, Jesse DePlantis? This dope-filled world, right. get, in an air, get in a long tube with a bunch of demons. Right, that's exactly the And it, it's deadly. We caught up with Reverend Copeland in Branson, Missouri. You said that you don't like to fly commercial because you don't want to get into a tube with a bunch of demons. Do you really believe that human beings are demons? No, I do not. And don't you ever say I did. If I flew commercial, I'd have to stop 65% of what I'm doing. How much money did you pay for Tyler Perry's Gulfstream jet, for example? Well, for example, that's really none of your business, but... Isn't it the business of your donors? Listen, he made that airplane so cheap for me, I couldn't help but buy it. It's impossible to know exactly how many millions of dollars these ministries take in every year because they are not required to make financial disclosures of donations received. By the way, all of it is tax exempt.